We welcome you back to Karnaseka Arena on the campus of St. John's University. It is halftime and it is stepping out with a 41-30 lead. Dylan Butler, John Perez, we're joined by Joel Soriano, a guy who knows something, one, about playing here, but also playing in this game as well. Joel playing for Archbishop Stepanak, for Coach Mass as well. I guess, uh, Joel, first question is just uh, what are some of your memories? You're, you're, you're watching your, your alma mater play in this game. It was a different location at that time, uh, but what were your, what were your uh, memories of uh, playing for this game? Uh, I mean, we played here against Malloy. Uh, I think it was 20, I mean, if I'm not mistaken, that's the year, 2018. And as, if you don't remember the year before that, we had lost to them by two. Um, it was a very close game. And by, I, I, all I remember at that time, that league was so competitive, man. It was one of the best years of my life, and I never take it for granted. Um, so many memories I built with my teammates, uh, the coaching staff, the school, and it was just a, it was just a great moment. You know, Pat really talks about building a brotherhood at Stepanak, and it's great to see alums like you. I know R.J. Davis, A.J. Griffin have spoken to the team in the past, Alan Griffin. What can you say about the job that Coach Mass has done to kind of cultivate that family atmosphere up at Stepanak? I mean, Coach, Coach Mass is a hell of a coach, man. And the way he brings kids together and make them better, make, make kids uh, – we give it 110% every time they step on the court. I mean, he brought the best out of me when I was playing here. I know he does the same when he has these kids here. So it's just it's just great, man, seeing all the progress that he has, uh, he has done. I know you're just off the Big East tournament in an entire year, but when you sit courtside and you see the atmosphere, is there a part of you that wants to suit up again? <laughs> yeah, I I'll be, I'll be wanting to suit back up, man. Just, but I can't, man. I'm too old. I, I know I'll probably kill these guys right now. <laughs> How would you defend Boogie Flam? Boogie, I don't know. Boogie could do a lot, of, a little bit of everything, man. So he probably is a, I think when he comes off screen, you got to double him um, and just hope for the best, man. <laughs> you you going to walk him around campus and show him all the nice plays? Hey, Boogie, this could be a good spot for you, man. Yeah, for sure, man. We, if we have Boogie here, I don't think nobody could beat it. <laughs> uh, Joel, man, uh, I, I would be remiss if we didn't ask. Obviously, not the end of the season you guys wanted. Tough also. It's never easy um, to, to lose a head coach. Um what I guess what's that like kind of for you for you guys collectively right having to to, to deal with that I know how close you guys all were uh, to coach Anderson uh definitely definitely a tough moment tough times uh, he played a big part on not just me but the team my our whole my whole team actually uh, he's, he's a big role model for us he comes from a long history of winning a long history of basketball and the stuff that he taught us is is something I can't explain um it's sad to see him go and see his, his time here end. But, I mean, he called us, he told us that we, he's gonna be all right. So, as long as he's all right, we're all right. So, I just wanna wish him, him the best, his family the best, and we'll see how the future holds. I know you said that your future was kind of a little contingent after the loss that, you know, if, if Coach Mike Anderson leaves, I might leave with him too, or along the paraphrasing here. Having said that though, the next coach, regardless of where you are, what do you think St. John's means? Uh, what St. John's means, man? Um, as of right now, I'm still a Johnny, so <laughs> we'll, see, we'll, we'll see what we say, Johnny. I mean, wh whatever coach comes in, I hope he comes in with the right mindset um, to bring this program back to where it needs to be. Uh, and look, man, I'm, we're just trying to win. I know the Johnny's a Johnny Nation. I know the other fans around here, they're trying to win. They're trying to bring a championship back to New York. They're trying to make the NCAA tournament. So that's really it, just winning, man. Joel Sariano, by the way, in the 2018 championship game, seven rebounds, three blocks. Stepanak's first championship since 1960. I'd imagine that's still pretty uh, special for you, even though it was a few years back. Yeah, definitely. I still remember that like it was yesterday. <laughs> we got to ask him a prediction. Uh, he's oh. a Stepanak guy. Come on, Stepanak. man. Give us a score, Joe. Boogie, Boogie's going to end the game with 40. Danny's going to end with about like 20-something. <laughs> uh, and we're going to win this game by 20. Um, oh, my goodness. Yeah, there it is. Stepanak, man. Stepanak, all the way. Joel Sariano, thanks so much for joining Appreciate us, buddy. It, bro. Thank you. Let's take another quick break.